Is Prince Charles now being accused of double standards by members of his own family? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. As ever, thank you for your company. Welcome one and all a brand new subscribe. It's great to have your company. And it's a very autumnal day here in London. I don't know about you, but it's still humid. But the leaves are playing havoc, let me tell you, with my hay fever. I know I shouldn't talk about these things on air, but gosh, you know, I don't know about you, but tickly throat, running eyes. I almost feel like I've sat through the reading of the bench. Mm. Anyway, back, of course, to your breaking royal story coming out of London today. It's interesting to note, isn't it, that uh, recently we've had a lot of stories in the media about climate change, etc. And there's been none other, well, for me anyway, uh, senior royal than His Royal Highness Prince Charles, who's always highlighted this particular fact. We know he likes to recycle food. In fact, Joan Rivers told me, yeah, get that, that when she stayed with Prince Charles out at Highgrove, everything is, you know, re, shall we say, moved about, made into pies, pots, all sorts of stuff. There's no waste in Prince Charles's house. He's very keen on food wastage. So it comes as no surprise that he decided to lend his name to a brand new climate TV change channel. Now he's going to be the curator of that particular channel. And I think it's a really good idea because obviously he can put his thoughts over in a very succinct way. But a lot of people associated to a certain ex-royal couple are basically claiming, well, look, it's double standards. You know, he's decided to sign to a TV channel. What's so different about Harry and Meghan? And possibly they have a point. But let me tell you as ever here first on the show, the real inside story. The deal between Prince Charles and that particular streaming service is simply this. Prince Charles wanted to get his voice over there. As I say, he wanted to discuss things that matter to him and the rest of the world. And we can tell you that this will also feature eminent people too, allegedly including Sir David Attenborough. Lovely man, met him. Very sweet man, very passionate. At times probably bangs on too much for my liking, but then again, that's what multimillionaires do. But back to Prince Charles. Let me tell you this, Prince Charles is not getting paid by the streaming service. He's mainly just becoming the curator. That means that, of course, he will overlook at some of the programmes, the ideas and the formats. He will watch them all and decide whether he wants to get involved and contribute to those. Of course, the bigger deal with Harry and Meghan is simply with Spotify and Netflix and everything else that they've signed up to do, they're receiving money. It does appear that the people who are working for Harry and Meghan seem a bit thick to me because, you know, how difficult would it be to work out? Is Prince Charles getting paid? No. Are Harry and Meghan? Yes. That's the biggest deal between the two. But what happens in the world of publicity is, of course, they want to make sure that the person who shouts the loudest gets, of course, the biggest voice. And more importantly, I think, for Prince Charles, more people will definitely tune in to see his thoughts. After all, he will become our future king rather than two ex-royals, well, depending on what they are planning to stream via Netflix. Neil, Neil Sean in the heart of London.